Oh, three with the care of an artisan and gave it a bigger display than previous generations. But we did not increase the width at all. Okay, so, so what I'm looking at, I'll just describe uh, the device which I'm holding my hands right now. It, it's, uh, for a start, it's, a, it's certainly a different color. I've not seen this before. Um, the material, the leather on the back, uh, the finish is different. Yeah, it, it's a whole new different aesthetic. It is definitely. It, did, it delivers a premium look and feel, such as this soft and textured back cover and fine stitching. Yeah, I mean, the, the screen is interesting. It's, uh, it's not bezel-less, but it, the, display, the, the bezel on the display is certainly minimal. Um, and this serration on the side, uh, it, with, along with the leather, gives it a kind of notebook feel, right, you know, like a right. diary. It does. And the S Pen is easy to pull out and also has a great look and feel. Okay, so what colors does the Note 3 come in? Jet black, classic white, and blush pink. No, I think you've given me the blush pink. I did. Which I probably wouldn't have chosen, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm, I'm actually thinking I can work this. I can work with this. What accessories, though, would I put with a blush pink Note 3? Right. We have something very special. Several different accessories designed by Maskeen and Nicholas Kirkwood. So a wide range of accessories designed to meet the needs of all our users around the world. Note 3 has it all. Beautiful aesthetics and the most advanced technology in the industry. Okay, how about that? I want to thank you, Menno, for introducing us tonight to the Note 3. Ladies and gentlemen, a uh, round of applause for Mr. Menno Vandenberg. Thank Good you, it's my pleasure. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, so, okay, we've had a, a brief introduction to some of the, uh, the, the background, if you like, and the design of the, the Note 3. I think it's now time that we take a, a slightly deeper dive into the, uh, the specifics, you know, the S Pen, uh, the bigger screen. And to help us do that, please welcome onto stage uh, David Park from Samsung Electronics Headquarters and Marketing. David, come and join us. David is joined by the lovely Jane, who follows him everywhere she goes. She was in the toilet earlier, she was filming him, it's on YouTube, it's, it's not nice. Okay, good to see you. Good to see you too, sir. Do your thing. We've, we've, we've talked, you know, uh, briefly about uh, the Note 3. Now, introduce us to it. Uh, the, the way I'd sum it up, I guess, is a kind of brains and beauty combo. Is, is that fair? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've covered beauty. Uh, let's go into the brains bit because after all that, that is the most important element. Sure, sure. So first of all, we have an all new S Pen that works seamlessly with the bigger screen for advanced multitasking. And for a brand new concept, smart freedom. Okay. Which I will leave until last because it's so groundbreaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> S Pen makes everything easier and more fun. The most useful features are only one click away. Just write a number to make a call and save it all in your scrapbook. Find things without having to remember. The S Pen, much more than a pen. Great, okay, so um, I'm guessing from that the S Pen is kind of evolving into a, a more versatile controller. Absolutely, it's so much more than just a pen for writing and drawing. We made significant improvements so the S Pen is now the key that unlocks all the power, speed, and functionality of the Note 3. And how does that, how does that key work? So basically, Jason, it's dot, circle, and then box. Okay. Okay, dot, circle, box. I explain more. Right. So the dot is the dot on the screen that you see here. Okay, yeah, if you hover it on the blue, you can just about see it there, can't you? Absolutely. And when you see that dot, you press the button on the S Pen, you get Air Command. Okay, Air Command. Sounds like a 8-bit game from the 80s. I'm guessing it's not. No, it's not. But Air Command, it's got five convenient features rolled up in one, and there's no learning curve. And it can be accessed from anywhere on the screen when you see the dot. So it's very simple. I hover anywhere over the screen like so, and I press the button to get Air Command and it brings this fan type menu. And so from here, I choose either action memo, scrapbook, 
screen right, S Finder, or pen window. And let's take a look at one of them. Let's take a look at Action Memo. So from here, I can either write down a phone number or write down an address, or I can go to my old memos right here. And let's just say I wrote down a phone number before, and I pulled it up right here, but I forgot to save it. Yeah. So what's interesting is that I go to the link to action button right here, and it automatically identifies my handwriting and the type of information that I wrote down. So you said action memo. Uh, that's the memo bit, obviously. Where's the action? OK. So from here, I have these options below. I can either call the number directly. I can save it to my contacts. Okay. But if it was some other information, I could then send an email or even search on a map. But for this, let's save it to my contacts. <laughs> and there we go. The name and number, it's saved into my contacts. And my action memo is right here minimized for easy access. That's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, and the, the handwriting recognition uh, seems to be uh, functioning really, really well. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's extremely useful. Absolutely. It is. And that was the dot, which takes us to Air Command by a simple click. And now we're on to Circle. OK, tell us more about Circle, David. OK, so Circle is all about capturing and organizing content in one place. OK, I'm getting that. And it's like a scrapbook. And that's actually what we call it. So when I find content I want to save, it's as easy as drawing a circle. And let me show you how easy it is. I'm going to launch my browser to a page of some tech that I'm interested in, OK? Now I go to something that I want to save for later. And what I do is I bring up Air Command, and I click on Scrapbook. And all I do is I just draw a circle around the content that I want. And from here, I get to then put it in a category, one that exists, or I can just create my own. And the layout, I can select what type of layout it'll be in. I'm going to put it in a category called Tech. And there we go. It's saved in my scrapbook. And let me just show you what it looks like in the scrapbook. Go to the category I made. And there it is, organized really neatly. And just to top it off, let me go to a category that's filled with content. Yeah. And you can just see that there's images, web pages, easy clip content, even video that you can put in your scrapbook. OK, so immediately I noticed Samsung Germany. What's that? Uh, uh, an audio doc. Well, let's, let's go inside. Yeah. And what you're going to see is the content that I captured. Yeah. But what's interesting, Jason, is that I can go back to the source that I found it from just by clicking this link button up here. And there it is. Yeah. There's the source. OK, and, and basically you're selecting all kinds of assets uh, with nothing more difficult than a, a simple circle. That's the idea. Absolutely. So it collects whatever you want and organizes it so you can easily find it and view it, again, all in one place. Yeah, that, that's, that's interesting you say it because all this personal content, I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm, I'm just accruing huge amounts of, of stuff that I'm saving now, you know, images and websites and videos and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that, sometimes that personal content becomes confusing to find. That's, that's correct. And so that's why there's S Finder. So S Finder, Jason, it allows you to search for content on your device regardless of the type. And just, all you have to do is put in some keywords. Okay. Your search results can include memos, photos, videos, musics, events, chats, and even in the help section. And it's all going to be in one place. You can also search for handwritten content, including symbols, in your notes and memos. So you're going to add, you, you use symbols to search? Absolutely, yeah. Anything you, that you draw? With if I draw pen. a star on something, I can search for that star. Cool, OK. I think I, think I know what the answer is going to be. But any other features that you want to show us, David? There are. So let me tell you about the new S note. And to help you, let's go into it. So the new S Note, it's an upgrade to Samsung's renowned note-taking feature. Its interface is even more intuitive with its collection of notebooks that I have here. And it's simple to organize. I just drag down to see pages. And it makes it much easier to write and edit by moving objects and layers freely within a note. And what about the notes that you make within S-Note? Uh, can you share those between devices? Yes, of course. Them up? That's correct. So the content syncs to your PC, tablet, or other phone. Okay. 
and its integration is seamless and elegant with certain applications like Evernote. So whatever you say with Snote goes right to the Evernote cloud, and you get access to Evernote's premium service for up to 12 months. Okay, so um, we started with a dot, uh, we've got the, the circle covered. What about the box? Well, the box is our new way of multitasking on a large screen. But to introduce this new way, let me show you how the core elements of multitasking have improved on the Note 3. Your daily routine is about to become a delight. You can do two things at once, even two of the same kind. Just drag it and drop it in the chat box. Or draw a window to call up key apps. That's the true definition of a smart, large screen. So, the Note 3 has a 5.7 inch full HD Super AMOLED screen. But even with a bigger screen, we kept the width of the device the same. So you get the same great feeling, but now you're able to multitask better with more display. Also, this isn't the first time that we're doing multitasking. In fact, an additional aspect of the box is our improved multi-window, which we introduced with the Note 2 last year, and which we have even made better this year. Okay, so a, a new multi-window. Could you demo it for us? Absolutely. So with the new multi-window, you can even have the same app open in two windows. So you can have two chat on apps running simultaneously. So lastly, you can chat with two different friends at the same time. Got it? I'm, I'm getting there, yeah. All right, so let's just put a situation up here. Yeah. Let's say I'm talking to my friend Rachel, and she knows everything about Berlin. So she sent me some restaurant suggestion that I'm going to share with my coworker, Justin. Well, let's bring Justin into the window. Open up another chat on window here. There's Justin. And all I do is I just initiate drag and drop right here, select what I want to share, and just drag it over. The key is that I have two chat on windows. Wow, there you go. <laughs> We got their attention, Jason. Absolutely. Okay. The key is that two chat on windows open at the same time. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, now we also have a convenient and creative feature for enhanced multitasking called Pen Window. So, Pen Window lets you draw a box on the screen to call up other useful applications. Okay, so uh, that's where the box thing comes in? Yes. Yeah. Finally. Yes. So, you draw the window whatever size you need, right? The point is, it brings up quick access to apps for daily tasks that you like to perform more quickly. Okay, so uh, can we see it in action? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. So, okay, pen window is great when you're doing something on the phone and you quickly need to access another application. So this friend and myself, we went to Australia and we need to sort out expenses, okay? And here they are. Now, in this situation, I need a calculator for this. Okay, so all I do is I launch Air Command, I select Pen Window, and then I draw a box on the screen the size I want. And then I'm gonna click Calculator, and the thing is, I can do all the calculations right here. That's cool. Yeah. That's working. Absolutely, and there's so many other use cases for this, but here I can do the calculation, send the total, and I did not have to switch apps. Yeah, the idea is you draw a box that is the size for whatever application you want to use, but you can still see the other one in the same frame. Yes, yeah. whatever size you want. So Jason, in summary, with the Note 3,